Hello and welcome to this new video in which I will uh, show you a, a new motion sensor by a company called Shelly and uh, well it's currently in pre-order but I've already got one and well it's a simply a uh, door and window sensor with a lock sensor which works over Wi-Fi and uh, well it comes without batteries so uh, if you order one you will need two of the uh, CR123A 3 volt batteries and uh, you need to place them into the housing this is the sensor from the inside and uh, well there are no markings for positive and negative on this device so uh, i wanted to point out that uh, this side over here with the clip is the negative side and this side over here is the positive side so let me install some batteries and let's see if we can get it set up with the modics so I will switch over to my phone right now and search for available Wi-Fi networks. And it found the Shelly door window sensor. So now we need to connect to that. And it will ask us to, well, yes, we want to keep our connection. And we also want to go to 192.168 dot what was it again let's see 33.1.1 all right so now we need to go to internet and security and we need to go wi to wi-fi mode client and connect to an ex existing network and i will connect mine to my network and I'll be right back when I have done that. All right, so I've got the IP. And it may not respond. And that's because it is a uh, battery fed uh, sensor and they want to preserve the battery. So uh, on this picture, you can see over here, there's a little button. And if you press that button, there will uh, be a light that's blinking. And that will indicate uh, that it is connected to Wi-Fi and you can access its web, web interface. And if, uh, well, it is not turned on, you cannot uh, do that. So I want to update the firmware first. So yes, I want to update. And then we wait for a little bit until it's updated. All right, so now we are over here and we can go to internet and security, advanced developer settings and then enable action via MQTT. And my MQTT is service.2.2.11 and MQTT. All right, and I want to save. And I obviously need to push the button again, <laughs> otherwise it won't work. So let's try to save again. All right. So now we can go to in into the modics and go to our devices. So at the time of recording the previous uh, clip, there was still an open issue which had the uh, door sensor uh, well not recognized and that was because it was not yet implemented in the uh, Shelly plugin. In a previous video about the uh, Shelly dimmer 
I showed you how to install the plugin to, uh, well, let your uh, Shelly devices be recognized in the modics using the original firmware. Um, but if yours may not work, you may need to update the plugin. And how you do that is you open a uh, SSH session to your Demotics, uh, which in my case is running on a Raspberry Pi. So I will cd uh, Demotics plugins Shelly MQTT. And what, what I will do to update it is a git pull. So I just updated mine, so it's already up to date. And then we need to restart Demotics. Like that. And then it will restart the modics. And if we have a little moment, it will be okay. Uh, depending on the uh, size of your install, this may take longer or be quicker. So I need to go to my domotics install and go to devices. And they now appear over here. Uh, well, this one was already here. This is the uh, temperature sensor. This is a the state, so it's open or closed. And this is the lux sensor that's on the uh, Shelly door sensor. So I hope you uh, learned something in this video that this was helpful. And um, please leave a like and subscribe for more of this content. I hope to see you in the next video.